just wanted to write about regular people that I didn't really see in literature. Actually, I was talking to my friend about this last night. She says, oh, I'm always worried that something horrible is going to happen to your characters. Like, <laughs> she has a sense of foreboding, but then they're okay. Now it's time to say goodbye, girl. I'm Tony Margarita Plummer, the author of The Boleto Bandy Row, a collection of short stories and the winner of the Miguel Marmol Prize. I'm going to read from the title story and just a little bit of background. This is about um, a character named Pete, and he has recently broken up with his girlfriend, long term girlfriend, and he's not really over her. Here we see him at his uncle's house where he's currently living and his uncle is a painter he's an artist and they're in the garage and this is a conversation between the two of them pete sat down on a wooden chair what's this you're working on it's my interpretation of another painting by an anonymous peruvian painter he handed pete the beer grabbed his and they clinked glasses theo settled down on a chair across from pete there's a story that satan painted a picture of jesus suffering on the cross as a gift to his lover he took a lot of time getting in every detail. Pete smiled at Theo's enthusiasm. He could get really worked up. He intended that they enjoy Jesus' suffering together, but when his lover saw the painting, she was so moved by what Jesus had gone through that she converted to Christianity. So it backfired, Pete asked. Yes, Satan didn't get me that night. I'm from South Alani, and it's about 15 and it's east from downtown LA. So it's actually really, really close. You just hop on the freeway. And it's this working class neighborhood, very predominantly Latino, Mexican, Mexican-American. Um, and that's where I grew up. My mom still lives there, same house. I just wanted to write this, uh, these stories about what it was like to be in this neighborhood, which is almost like a whole different world, really. My book is out in June 2011.